All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to a daily update of my 1000 day challenge. This is day 139. So let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, in terms of balance already updated, that was actually done. I mean, the trips were actually closed yesterday. So a couple of trades I'm still in in terms of long side trade. As you can see, the crypto market is really, really bullish right now. So yeah, if you have entered, great. If you have not, then it's time to wait and be on the sideline in that sense and do not fear of missing out in that sense. All right, so in terms of the market update itself, you can see from yesterday to today, it remains the same for all the four key markets that I monitor. For the US and China market side, no major change. I do see more of them like somewhat consolidating except for Nasdaq, which remains to be bullish. And again, it's making all closing at all-time high once again. So things are really looking good, but I'm not looking to add in terms of substantially wise. But yeah, overall, things looks to be great and the Mac on the daily chart if you close on the upside so things are definitely looking great in that sense all right but today i'll just do a very quick one through on bitcoin as you understand yesterday when i was doing it it was around twenty thousand six hundred ish so i did mention that it was a potentially a good place to add if you're looking for long-term investment but definitely not in terms of trading and yeah but of course if you have entered for trading you could potentially be profitable as well but that that is not something that i do that's in terms of the time frame wise and in terms of the risk to reward wise, I would say. All right, so this was the second trade that if you have entered in, I will still be continuing to do the trading stop loss using this 20 exponential moving average in that sense. Okay, so doing a very quick run through, I also updated this in terms of where I entered, which was actually around here at 18.3K. I'm still doing a full 100% trading stop loss for this because like what I mentioned, when I saw that price was hovering around here, things was looking really bullish. So yeah, there wasn't a reason for me to take some of my profit in that sense. But ultimately, this is highly subjective, but even if you have taken half of your profit, you will still be trading half of it along the way, which in a sense is still a good thing. So for me right now, I'm waiting for some sort of pullback, some sort of consolidation and retracement before entering for new long setup, or you know, even exiting or taking profit off my existing trade. But otherwise, there's no new major setup that I've noticed on terms for Bitcoin-wise. Things looks really bullish on the four hour chart. And even though there was some sort of resistance here, this 20,600 region, it was breached. And then now things are still picking right up. And there's no clear sign of resistance yet on the four hour chart. There was some sort of indecision on the one hour. But now things are really looking parabolic. And when things are looking really par parabolic in this sense, I would definitely not look to add because it's finding support at literally the 10 minute time frame or the 20 exponential moving average on the 10 minute time frame so this means that it's extremely bullish but i do see that potentially we could have a sharp pullback where people start to take profit as well so yeah let's see how things goes and i will just trail my profits accordingly on this four hour time frame here over here and yep that's basically the quick update i have for you guys today and i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye bye